Good morning again, YouTube. Day three. A um, little bit of a bleary start this morning. Um, been awake with a migraine most of the night, but hey-ho, um, it's gone off now. So the first task of the day today is to go and get the father-in-law's paper. So um, off we go. Let it in. If I could, I would be right here with you. In this world of ticking clocks, I hope I'm getting through. So today is Monday the 9th of August and I've been fretting a little bit, especially early hours of this morning, about suitable and appropriate content for this for this vlog. And out of the blue, a friend contacted me and suggested that I read a book called The Salt Path. Um, the author's name escapes me right now. So, early hours this morning, I've, I've um, downloaded it from Audible. So I will spend the next few days listening to it. Um, it's about um, the coast path, the southwest coast path, that I completely forgot, of course, starts in my head. And the, coast, the southwest coast path uh, goes all around the southwest of England um, from Minehead to Pool in Dorset. I think it's 630 miles long. So that's some content that I can use probably later on in the week. Um, as for today, I keep forgetting that the actual idea of this vlog is to make sure I start and finish something creative on a daily basis. So I think today is just going to be a bit of a follow along. It's a, a normal work day today, so I'm at the day job. Um, I work for a local funeral directors on mostly a part-time basis. Um, I won't be able to take you into work, obviously, because of the sensitive nature of, of what it is. Um, so we'll have to try and do our best to fill some content up for you guys. Okay. Well, that's work completed for another day. So we're oops, very close to Lewis's very expensive car. Um, so yeah, that's work completed for the day. So we're off home now and I'll do a little bit more filming tonight. And this will probably be uploaded later on this evening. That's it for now. So it looks like today's episode has turned into a bit of a driving vlog. So I'm gonna, I'm in the car again, so I'm gonna take you for a little drive up onto North Hill, which uh, affords some beautiful views of the Bristol Channel over to the Welsh coast. And where we're gonna end up will give us a lovely view down towards Porlock Bay and Fallen Point beyond. So, yeah, so here we go. Close your eyes, get out of your skin. All it is matters, let it in. So close your eyes 
So we're parked up on top of Bosington Hill now and I think you'll agree with the view from here is absolutely spectacular. It's a lovely little spot. I quite often come up here and there's some lovely walks just around the immediate area. So I'll just give you a brief explanation of what you're looking at just over the, the tree line. In the far distance you can see Fallen Point and Fallen Point gives way then around the corner to Lynmouth Bay which is where the famous villages of Linton and Lynmouth are situated. Wasn't quite sure how to finish this vlog off today. Um, I may have intimated earlier on that I worked in the funeral industry and have done for some, for some time. And not to sound too depressing or too maudling, I by working in that industry, I quite often think about maybe my own demise and the fact that none of us are promised tomorrow and perhaps if we prepared for the end and thought about it, you know, not too often, but a little bit more often than perhaps what most of us do, it will maybe enable us to enjoy life more. Um, I don't know, it's just my, my, funny, little, my funny little way of thinking. <clears throat> Who knows? So... To finish off this afternoon, I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a view and I'm going to read you a little poem or part of a poem by a Lebanese poet called Khalil Gibran. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death, open your heart wide unto the body of life. For life and death are one, even as the river and the sea are one. For in the depth of your hopes and desires lies your silent knowledge of the beyond, and like seeds dreaming beneath the snow, your heart dreams of spring. <laughs>